Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up differential thrust or differential steering. If you're unfamiliar with that, that's where you uh, say if you have a tracked vehicle or a um, twin engine plane, you can uh, use rudder to influence the percentage or the amount of throttle that is given to one particular motor in order to make that turn. So if you wanted to make a left turn, you would want to either decrease or increase the or, or decrease the left side and increase the right side and it would cause the plane to uh, make that left turn. Or if you're using like a tracked vehicle or a vehicle with differential steering, it would have the same effect. And so in this tutorial here or this video here, I want to show you how to set that up. Um, and the way on the Tyrannus is set up. Um, I've actually got it here on throttle hold. Throttle release. And you can see as I move my throttle sticks up, uh, both throttles, channels 1 and 3, both move. Now if I move up and say I want to make a left turn, you can see that the left stick actually, or the left uh, channel, channel 1, decreases and channel 3 increases. If I move to the right, you get the inverse action. So, and then also too, uh, you can be at a zero percent throttle, and you can actually spin in one direction or the other. So, let's begin. I'm gonna put, hold. put my throttle hold on, and what I've already done is I've already created a, a model here and and set it up and bonded it with the. Uh, receiver that I'm using. So uh, I'm going to come into my new model. I'm going to select, the, lost. Recovered. select the model. I'm going to go into page and I'm going to my mixer. Now, like I mentioned before, channel 1 is, is my left throttle. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to set this to throttle weight at 100%. Um, all the defaults should be good. And I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to go into channel 3. Same thing. Except I'm going to change this to throttle. And all the defaults should be set. Now, the way this is set up, if I move my throttle, both left and right, or channel 1 and 3, will both move. Now, the way to add rudder into that mix is actually come in, uh, hit enter, hold enter, sorry, and then insert after. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our rudder into here. Rudder. The defaults for the left or channel one side should remain the same. The one thing we want to be concerned about here is going to be the weight. In this particular model, leaving it at 100% is going to work. So we'll exit out of that. Now we need to do the same thing to our channel 3 or our right side. Long press on enter. Insert after. We want to change this to rudder. Now for the weight, we want to change this to a uh, hundred percent but negative so we can either scroll through and select and we can you know go all the way down to we want to do 100 or you can press the plus and minus key at the same time which selects the inverse of whatever number it's on there so now if we back out now if we move our throttle and we move our rudders you can see it's giving us the effect that we want so if we want to make a left turn the left decreases and the right increases. And here, if we move, same thing. Even if we have no throttle activated, we can actually still spin the plane or spin the rover. Now, it's always good to have, especially on planes, to have a throttle cutoff. So what we can do is we can actually come in to uh, channel one and we're gonna add another mix. I'm gonna insert after. And our source, we want to make this max. And we also want to set the weight to 100% negative. 
Um, and then we want to put this on switch F, which is the two position switch on the Tyrannus. Um, we can either scroll through the switches or you can actually activate the switch. In this case we want the switch to be up. And then our multiplex, we actually want to replace this function uh, with everything that's uh, in the mix right now. So if we back out, and we also have to do that to channel 3 too. Again, max. And we want our weight to be, again, negative 100. And we want our switch to be the F switch in the up position or back position. And multiplex is going to be replace. Now, if we uh, if we go into our throttle, you can see we have no throttle. If we go into throttle hold or throttle release, now we have throttle. And the only problem with this is if I go back into throttle hold, and you can see I have no throttle, but if I move my rudder, or no throttle, but if I move my rudder, I still have, uh, those props could spin up if it is on a twin engine plane. So the way we do that is we can actually put the rudder on, on the, the switch too. And what we can tell is we can actually tell it to only activate this particular function when the F switch is in the back or up position. So again, you can flip your switch and exit. And again, we also have to do that on the th uh, third channel. And that is uh, back out. And so you do that by uh, long enter edit, go down to switch, and again we want that to be in the back position. Now you can see we have all our mixes set up. Now if I uh, put this in the throttle hold and uh, move my throttle, I get nothing. If I switch back or throttle release, I have uh, full control now.